Now, of course, New Year's Eve coming up, lots of different ways you could spend that. Probably none as dramatic as at the Kaufman Performing Arts Center with all sorts of music, quixotic, and MCs who just happen to be sitting with me, as a matter of fact, Victor <laughs> and Penny, Penny and Victor, or actually in real life, Aaron McGree and Jeff Frayling. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Now, how does a, a, a pop duo, antique pop duo, end up hosting a thing that has this much flair to it? I don't know. That's a great question. Um, uh, they just, they called us directly and asked us. And um, I think what they're really going for is this iconic style is what one of the things they're talking about is celebrating an iconic style. And we kind of do this 20s, 30s. And that was certainly when Kansas City was in its heyday, the Paris of the Plains. And um, so we kind of harken back a little bit to that era. So I, I think that, that might be part of mm -hmm. the appeal. Yeah, you're going to actually be in all these halls, the Kaufman Center on Eve, as they like to call yes. it. Eve, Eve KC, EveKC.com is the website for it, where you can find out a lot more information. But um, yeah, all three halls are going to be open. There'll be performances in every hall. Your tickets will give you access to the entire facility, which I think is fantastic. You'll actually be able to dance on the stage of Hellsburg Hall. And I, I mean, it's really an, a unique opportunity to see that fantastic facility in a way that um, I don't think anyone has before. And I think we're the only act that night that'll actually be performing in every hall. Yes. <laughs> Well, you're thrilled. pretty mobile. Well, yeah, That's one of the moving, great things about it. around a little bit, yeah. yeah. Right. A, a duo like yours, you're not carrying lots of big equipment, right? No. Right. We are having, for part of the evening, um, we are having our bass player and then our clarinet player joining us mm -hmm. later. So we're kind of going to get bigger as the evening goes along as well. Perhaps joining Quixotic for a little aerial act? Uh, you know, they've sent me the harness, but I haven't had any chance to practice with it yet, so we'll we'll see. We'll see if that happens. You guys have, have gone to this really elemental thing. You're just back from the West Coast, uh, mm -hmm. playing to audiences that, that really kind of like this, this form you found. Yeah, well, we played, this last trip we did, we played, uh, it was all swing dances, so we played for uh, playing in front of swing dancers for a week and a half all up and down the West Coast. It was great. We hadn't yeah. really gone into that subculture. Mm. We found this project has brought us in contact with a number of subcultures, including the ukulele world, which is uh, a deep and uh, very uh, active, yes, yeah. devoted is a great word, um, subculture. And then we, f we got into the swing world this, this last tour, which was also fantastic. So when we like it, they a lot of them dress up to come to these dances and so you know it's very beautiful and classy events and it's kind of neat. Well you guys have kind of got a subgenre of music from the van that also is, is making you a little bit of internet pheno phenomenons I would say. Yeah it's fun. We just started, uh, we started taping ourselves in the car partly to practice and then partly so that I could show my dad who gave me his ukulele me learning it, he kept saying he lives in California, and he would say, well, send me pictures or videos or something so I can see you playing, playing the ukulele. And so we, we taped in the car because we were driving back and forth between Chicago and Kansas City a lot, so I was learning to play in the car, and he was teaching me while driving, although both of his hands were on the wheel the whole time. 10-2 position. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so we started taping ourselves, and then we thought, well, I don't know, we'll post it, and then people just really, really like it. We actually got videos. most of our first gigs based on those car videos like that's we, when we first started we didn't have you know we didn't have bios written we didn't have a, no an electronic out. press kit or anything like that we said well we have we have this video of us in our car how's <laughs> this you know and uh, people loved it and you know like I said like our very first tour we booked mostly on the strength of those those car videos Victor and Penny big plans for 2014 as we get ready for that New Year's shift yeah, well, we're going to be here in Kansas City for uh, four months straight, and we're absolutely thrilled. We've just really come home, actually. Um, we haven't had an apartment in uh, almost two years because we've been on the road. 205 days this year, 165 days last year. So we've just been staying with friends and family when we come to Kansas City, but now we, we actually took up residence as of Thanksgiving, and we'll be here at least until May. So we're very excited about that. I think a lot of, uh, we're going to do a lot of practicing and writing and hopefully working on the next record and then yeah. and then starting in May, uh, more touring and hopefully festivals and bigger shows and things like that. And maybe some touring with the with the quartet as well. Yeah, we'd like to do that, take our boys out with us. Yeah. They, they don't do. know yet, so yeah. I'm, I'm telling them right now. <laughs> I hope now, they're available. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you heard it here on the local show. Well, real quickly, recap then, uh, Eve, uh, yes. what will we expect? It's really, it's a fantastic evening with all-inclusive food and drink and um, all three halls will be open. You'll have access to all three halls. You can dance on the stage and it's 
really going to be a, a neat evening. Yeah, that's a website there that people can, can learn more about it, as, uh, as we hope they will. And uh, I hope you guys have a, a nice place or a nice time parking your, your <laughs> ukuleles in town for a while and, yeah. and uh, not having to make those van, uh, those videos on the road quite as often and, and hone those hone those new tunes. Yeah, yeah. That's we'll make videos from the couch instead. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to it. Victor and Penny, Aaron and Jeff, thanks so much. Good luck. Uh, and uh, this is it. This is that time where we, we get to say Happy New Year to you as it's our last show of 2013. We hope you'll join us when the local show resumes uh, in January with a special on the 100th anniversary of the Panama Canal. We'll talk to you later. Well, I'll never say never again, again, cause here I am, I love again.